sun is so warm. <laughs> I had to take my jacket off. It's getting all overheated. And um, the view is epic. After a bit of a debate about whether to spend the time and fuel heading further into the mountains again, more mountain time won out. So I picked up some supplies, remembered at the last minute to top up my fuel tank at the last fuel stop, without which my heater wouldn't have worked, and headed back up into chilly snowland. dilemma the car park that I wanted to park in the only available spaces are so covered in snow so deep so I'm like do I just wait and see if one of the other cars moves the ones that aren't buried in snow or find somewhere else look at those icicles <laughs> so I went for a little wander around the town trying to figure out if there was somewhere better to park and I think this is the best area so then I had a chat with a woman that was out the front of her shop I think um, scraping some snow with a big snow shovel and asked if I could borrow it and she was like yeah but it's not your job to clear snow and I was like I'm trying to park this was in broken French and then some English from her um, so she walked down with me to the car park and she was like you'll be fine just tuck into the side if cars can get past she's like you're staying a night that's fine um, I love that attitude you would just never get that in the UK of like you want to park in a car park and stay overnight? That's fine. Uh, there are public toilets here, which is quite a nice luxury. You don't always have that. Um, and the view is just amazing. So I, managed, I did manage to get into a space when someone left. I've got my eye on a, another space that's a bit clearer and backs onto a stream, which would be really nice. And then it means like the back of my van hasn't got people walking past it. Um, but for now, this will do. I need some lunch and I need to do some editing before I go play in the snow. This is the view out of the front of the van. <laughs> that might be my most impressive view yet. It's snowy, but I guess the sun on the snow makes it warm enough to also have my window open, which is awesome. Right, guys, I finally did it. Of walking poles. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> my dad offered to buy me some for Christmas and then I was like looking through all the different options on Amazon, got overwhelmed, uh, wanted to actually look at poles before buying them. Um, but also I didn't use them that much so I think I was getting a bit bogged down in all the technical stuff and wanting really short ones that would pack up smaller in the van and stuff. Anyway, today I'm in the mountains and I just bought them from a little local shop, which actually feels better because at least the money has gone to someone local um, and a small, like, individual business. And now I have walking poles. <laughs> the guy came out to ask me if I was okay and show me how they worked. And I was like, I know how they work, just can't decide between the colours because they were all the same in terms of function but there was black and green and blue and red but red wasn't a contender and I couldn't decide so it went green in the end I have a tendency to buy too much blue sometimes so yeah I went green we'll see what happens probably won't regret it <laughs> they're just walking poles after all I am uh, realising that I should have worn my boots, not my rally boots, because my ankles don't feel great and my back's been really sore the last couple of days, probably from too much wet weather and too much sitting in the van. I think I'm just going to go to the rise this bit and then head back and try again tomorrow. Well, 
Right guys, so I am at Cirque du Gavani. <laughs> I haven't checked the pronunciation of that and I'm not online so I can't check. So if it's wrong, I apologise to anyone that knows the correct pronunciation. Uh, and it has been absolutely boiling in the sun. I definitely had too many layers on and then suddenly a cloud has come over and it is chilly. I've probably said before I'm not great at chatting when people are going past so just letting these guys go fast. <laughs> they just gave me a weird look but hey ho. I'm kind of used to that. I'm leaning back against a snowy bench. <laughs> it feels kind of nice actually. Um, depending on what order videos go in I might not have already said my back's really sore. Um, I need to sit in the van and do some work and it does not. I can't find a comfortable position to sit so gonna be fun but the weather is changing so I probably need to go back to the van. I cannot go over how beautiful this place is though. I know tonight it's gonna to be chilly and I've spent money on fuel getting up here. I had a debate over whether it was worth the fuel and the time of the drive like energy wise. It's not it wasn't that hard actually it's probably better than the drive the other day but yeah it's not the most <laughs> easy drive when you're winding up mountain roads and um never sure when a coach is going to come around the other way on your side of the road <laughs> so or a motorhome so yeah definitely worth it it's absolutely stunning here i'm glad i came i can understand that it is absolutely packed with people in the summer and i'm very glad i'm not here in the summer but there's also canyoning in this area in the summer so who knows i might have to come back for longer next time there's times when it's lucky i've worn wellies and not boots but <laughs> Current view, lying in bed. <laughs> That's like... I don't know if I can get that up. Come on. This is kind of why I had stopped using my front blinds because when it's really cold <laughs> the inside of them gets frozen you end up with really soggy blinds. Luckily I'm in the mountains and it will get sunny shortly and everything will dry out but yeah just ending up with lots of frozen stuff. <laughs> Fresh bed in the bakery and the sun's just coming up from the mountains. Not where I am but around the corner of the shop it is so we'll be here any minute. There are birds soaring from the top of the mountain and I just look at them and think how much fun must that be? Just the view and this, the, oh, the ability to soar. I want to be able to fly. This is one of the things I find funny about France. There's a dog just lying in the road. It's not because there's no cars around because one literally just came past and it didn't move. <laughs> it was just like, no, I'm good here. I mean, I don't think the road's warm anymore. It's cooled down pretty quickly. Since the sun went behind the mountain. Just thinking about getting up just because there's another dog around. So today is take two. Um, a lot of snow has melted since Monday, it's now Wednesday, so until the point I've just got to, bath is basically clear. I'm in walking boots this time and I've just put my like spiky things on because as soon as I hit the snow that's now quite slushy because loads of people have been out today, I was like, yeah I'm just going to slide everywhere in that. For me it's mean that I can actually walk. made it further than I did the other day, which is good. Hell of a lot easier in boots. A little sniffy on the snow, but that's what my spikes are for. Um, it's really beautiful in the trees. <laughs> it's 
So before certain uh, relatives slash family friends adopted godmothers worry about my my uh, solo hiking habits, I am on a very well trodden path with people in front of me and behind me and everywhere annoying me. Not too many, it's just manageable. Um, I'm not going to go off walking on my own this time of the year somewhere not well trodden. <laughs> not in the Pyrenees on my own, because <laughs> that would be a little bit silly. Having said that, I still have a rucksack full of supplies. Ooh, this snow is melting and it's almost like water. It's a bit gross to walk on. <laughs> yeah, as usual, I have overpacked with lots of layers in case well, by the time I get back down, the sun probably will be behind the mountain. And it's super hot in the sun, but once you're not in the sun, <laughs> it's a wee bit chilly. My van said minus 10 this morning when I got up to put the heater on and was like, it's cold. Um, I know I came to France to avoid Scottish winter, but I love mountains. So yeah, rucksack full of supplies, lots of layers, food, first aid kit, mini shovel. All the things you might need just in case something goes very wrong. I feel more comfortable when I've got a ridiculous amount of supplies. Also got a ton of camera kits in my rack sacks. Rather stuffed full. I love how the snow softens at least some of the sound from people so that it's not quite as overwhelmingly noisy when there's people around. Wow. Look at that. I've been looking at this vista for like in the last couple of days, but nice to see it from a different angle. The temperature change when you go from the sun into the shade is extreme. Ooh, someone's made some snowmen. <laughs> They're cute. I think in a minute I'm going to have to stop for some more layers, but I'm quite hot from walking, so I'm trying to get that perfect spot. I hate getting hot and sweaty. Good to know. I think this is a bridge <laughs> and that there's a stream here in the summer. <laughs> it's all soft and fluffy underneath. It's a little bit steeper now, I'm out of breath a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> the damn camera. <laughs> I oh know it's going to have to go in a video, isn't it? Well, there's been a bit of swearing at the beautiful views that I won't share with you guys. <laughs> Swallow my sweats. I just... There's just no words. Man, I love the shape of that one. Ah, oh, some mega epic icicles over there. I just passed these guys who said, I'll be the last one up. <laughs> like, there were some people behind me, but I don't know if they've made it this far. They had kids. They might do. Depends how energetic the kids are. Man, stunningness. That's my new word, stunningness. For when there are no words. I might have to make up a word for this. So they uh, built a hotel up here. And cafe and restaurant open May till October. Anyone wants to come up here at that time of the year? You can get a snack when you get to the top. Wow. So this is my limit, both um, 
in terms of the <laughs> terrain and my energy levels. It's amazing though. I am tired, <laughs> but that was worth it. I got a bit of a stump on on the way down and kind of overheated. I put all my layers on when I was higher up because it was cold. Ooh, I've just taken these off and now I've hit a... Oh, that's okay, it's crunchy. It's like I've hit a slope covered in snow still. Definitely worth the energy going up there. I overtook an older couple on the way down. I keep kind of looking back and going, They've definitely made it out of there, right? I mean, the last time I saw them, they were down onto the easy stuff, so I'm sure they were fine. I thoroughly recommend something like these if you uh, don't like sliding around on dodgy terrain. They work great on ice. I mean, as much as anything works on ice, but they stop you just sliding straight away. Uh, my brother bought them for the whole family many years ago, quite a few years ago. Mine are still going strong. They fit over most of my shoes. I wear them on my wellies as well sometimes. So yeah, I couldn't have done that walk without them. As soon as I hit the like snow, compacted snow and the slush, uh, my hiking boots are just going to slide everywhere. They're not made for that kind of terrain. So thank you, Guy, for how many years ago it was that you got us these. They're amazing. So it's finally by to my well, definitely my favourite spot of the last few weeks. But before it gets dark, I'm going to head down the mountain because I don't want to do another really cold, damp night. I mean, it wasn't that damp, but it kind of feels damp when it's that cold. I just, um, yeah, my battery got so cold that it hasn't been charging properly today. Which it does when it gets really cold. So I'm going to head down the mountain before I fall asleep and hopefully make it to a spot. <laughs> bye bye, beautiful view. I found a spot just off the road that night, low enough down that I didn't have frozen damp windows in the morning. Plus I had the most amazing night sky, so stayed up late trying to figure out how to take photos of the stars. I hung around Lords for a few hours, but only saw the hypermarché and Lidl. I was feeling pretty architectured and towned out by this point, so I didn't see any sights, just hung around using the supermarket Wi-Fi to upload a video, and then headed off to a quiet spot for the night. Right, this is the kind of thing I don't usually film because it's just bloody fiddly because you need both your hands to do what you're trying to do. Uh, it's my very packed roof box and I have my snow chains, Ooh, which I managed to lift up here without falling down. Uh, yeah, these, I'm out of the mountain region where you need them, so they need to go in the roof box. Ooh, they're very heavy, so it's a bit weird to think about putting them in there, but... Yeah, I guess not. probably not heavier than my paddleboard was, and that used to live in there. Um, not entirely sure where it's going to go. My roof box is pretty full of stuff. <laughs> always, always have too much stuff. Ooh, it's got canyoning gear and a duvet, and uh, that's my buoyancy aid, and hangers, and ground sheet, and camping chair that I rarely use, but I do love. Um, <laughs> spare bin liners for my... Uh, toilet and powder for my toilet when I run out of what I'm using at the moment. Canyoning stuff again, sleeping bag, just a ridiculous amount of stuff really. I've also got a ton of like fabrics and sewing gear under there somewhere. Right, so I can't bring you along for this guys because I really need my hands but wish me luck. I'm going to try and find some space in the back here at the bottom. Right, they're in. Now I just need to see if everything fits back on top of them. <laughs> it still closes. It's always the debate. Will the roof box close once you've put too much stuff in it, Kiki? Maybe. That click is always a good sign, because it means that it is locked.
I made a cool bag for my ladder. It goes in a bin liner first and then here because it lives back beside the back of the bed. And um, otherwise it gets condensation on it in the winter. And also it's a ladder that I've stepped on and I don't want it by my head. So with some help from my mum, which is always helpful when you're doing stuff with big bits of fabric, we uh, made this. And so far it is going strong. It just kind of lives right at the back here. And that's the other task for today before I head off. I'm just saying a little goodbye to the mountains because it's time to head north. I'm going to miss them, but at least I'm going back towards Scotland and there's mountains up there. There's stream. Mm -hmm.